focus. Oh, we have an angry mantis. This is an angry baby mantis. This is what a very upset baby mantis looks like. <laughs> and those crazy colors you're seeing are its abdominal colors that they they spread them out. I'm trying to get a better view of it. You can kind of see it there. There we go. So there's these colors that are underneath their abdominal shell segments and they flatten their body out when they're scared or angry and those colors show up. So he or she rather, she's not hurt or nothing. She's not injured. She's just very angry, very upset. Um, I think it's, <laughs> I think it's because earlier the kitty cats kind of, one kitty cat kind of spooked her. She's kind of been on high alert all day ever since. So I've picked her up and I guess I, I, I guess I could be less provocative to her, <laughs> but I wanted to get this on tape. She's very upset. I poke her. <laughs> oh, she's snapping out of it. You can actually see her mouth area and you see it's black almost like it looks like she has her mouth open going hey y'all but it's actually her little fanglets and i wish i had a close-up camera so you guys could see it or a macro view uh, a macro view but this is the best it's gonna get but yeah they put their hands up like that um or their their raptor arms i guess i should say their forearms they put them up like that when they're scared uh, to make themselves look bigger. They prop themselves up, flatten their body up, and they basically pump themselves up, kind of like they're full of testosterone and they're going to rip your head off if you come any closer. Expose their fangs and they rock back and forth when they're really upset. Um, and if they're very scared, they actually will put their arms up in the air and wave them around like they just don't care. Literally, that's what they do. Uh, they stick their big forearms in the air, spread out, and they just do a dance back and forth. There are some species that even hiss uh, when they're really upset, which is a very rare thing. And I've actually only ever seen it once with an African uh, female mantis I had, and it scared the hell out of me because I had heard that it, it's a very rare thing, and I heard it happens, and there's very few recordings of it on YouTube. But uh, I didn't even think her species could do it because I thought it was a limited species thing. And all of a sudden, I hear this big gust of wind, like a hiss. And it's her with her arms up because I think the cat spooked her, a so shadow spooked her. And I was holding her at the time, and I was terrified she was going to just, like, gnaw on my finger immediately out of f fear. So, yeah, they can do all kinds of crazy things in defense. Um, and when all else fails, of course, they can try to fight and bite. Um, uh, I've been bitten by the mantises before, and, you know, it's a little pinch. Uh, the size obviously makes a difference. I've had big ones chomp down on me very rarely. They just mistake my finger for, for a fly. They're not nasty. The mantises are very sweet. More afraid of you than, than you are of them, I can assure you that. Because as you can see, like, even with me poking her, she's just kind of like, eh, whatever. I think she's starting to calm down now, finally. She's still got her, little, her front lip up showing the little f baby fangs. <laughs> But uh, this is a female giant Asian, very common species. Uh, they're naturalized, or uh, I'm sorry, no, the giant Chinese species is naturalized, but the natural Asian is not naturalized here. But she is actually from a, a ooth. Uh, the mama is still alive, and I bred them. So this is, this is the babies from the mama I bred. And the mama and daddy <laughs> were kind of like Lannister Targaryens. They're actually brother and sister, and you know that happens a lot in the mantis breeding world. In uh, collectors, they do will often breed brother and sister, especially if it's a rare species. But in this case, it was an accidental breed. But I was planning on doing it anyway. It just kind of happened sooner and with a different partner than I thought. This is her back view. She actually just shed today, so she still has that sheen. You can see, like a minty. She's a nice minty, opaqueish color almost, and she's got that sheen to her, and that's because she's got a fresh shell. She just shed her old one. And yep, that's her. And actually, I can show you her shed. So 
Sorry, guys. Okay. So now she's really angry because I accidentally... This is her shed right here. So this is a little mantis exoskeleton shed. And as you can see, it almost looks exactly like a mantis, right? <laughs> so if you ever see those outside when you're taking a hike, it's a mantis shed. She is exceptionally pissed off right now uh, because I kind of spooked her by moving her around real fast and going to grab the shed. So uh, as you can see, she's very angry at my hand right now. <laughs> But that's it guys. That's it. Are you going to say bye or are you going to be angry? Are you going to say bye? Okay. Bye.